ready. Let's go. Welcome to YouTube Celebrity to Gossip News with me and Tommy. How's it going, Tommy? It is going great, Chris. Uh, it's nice Good. and warm here, but uh, you know, like everywhere else, things are still slow. Right, things are still slow in Washington here too, and um, overall, you know, uh, things will pretty much get back to normal soon, hopefully, you know, you just gotta have that faith. Also, we have some celebrity gossip news, and let's go to work, and here we go. Welcome back everyone. Well, Tommy, what's new? What do you have for us this week? We all know who Robert Williams is. If you don't know, he's a famous comedian here from uh, the U.S. who uh, unfortunately took his own life due to depression uh, uh, through 2014. Well, his family and his estate have decided to start a YouTube channel to honor his memory and bring people the joy and laughter of Robert Williams. For uh, a while to come. From the end of June, they'll be posting a new video every week of interviews that he's done, specials like on Broadway where he shares his comedy of clips and stuff from different comedy specials, different things he's done throughout his uh, career. Uh, so that's what they're going to be doing along with Time Life. And you can also get full versions of everything through Time Life themselves. Uh, this is a company that does stuff like this with uh, singers and artists who um, and uh, comedians and stuff who no longer are with us. They uh, preserve their uh, talent on video and DVD. That's a really good thing. Um, Robin Williams, of all things, is his family. Um, some of my favorite movies growing up, Mrs. Delphire, um, I could say um, Peter Pan. Um, he's done Good Morning Vietnam, so that's a really good thing that his family is starting based off of his life, to share memories, to share good things about Robin. I do like that, so. As of right now, since they've started this channel, there's over 4,000 subscribers and over 2,000 views on the videos they have out just already. Okay, so where can people like go to subscribe to his channel at? Uh, just simply go to uh, the official Robert Williams channel on YouTube. Uh, and you can subscribe there. We'll also have um, a link down below. Uh, I think that this is a great way to honor uh, not only comedians like Robert Williams, but other pe great people out there showing, you know, the great parts of them. I think this is amazing. Mm -hmm. And that's amazing for sure. So moving on, Tommy, we have uh, a uh, Amazon worker Amazon driver that is going to deliver a package and this is in Virginia of all things and the guy goes around and he drops off the package but soon enough Tommy what does the guy do he uh, you know he takes a leak on somebody else's lawn on somebody else's yard this guy uh, this guy actually just pulls it out and starts going to the bathroom in front of every other house out there. So the people caught this on security camera, sent it to TMZ, and it's just like, like, what the heck? Why, what was this guy thinking of all things? Um, to go with the coronavirus going around, with everything going around. This is another thing besides the guy, you know, where I reported back a couple uh, episodes ago, reporting about the guy that spitted and left a loogie on, um, on the box and stuff. Now, this guy's peeing, so... Um, well, the guy should have waited until he could have been uh, either near a bathroom to go to the bathroom or wait till he's off his shift. Because, um, I mean, that's just, I mean, if you gotta go, I understand that, man, but if you, get, if you really have to go, then there are proper ways to do that if you can't get to a restroom where you, you know, 
you know, go find a, a, an area where there's nobody around and then do it there if you have to really right, do it. Right, right, right. It's common sense. I mean, like, go to the nearest bathroom at the uh, fast, well, not at fast food places because a lot of fast food places are closed. So just go to the bathroom at a convenience store or a gas station or go to uh, a, a, a shopping store and go to the bathroom there. That's just common sense. So, I mean, it's just not, uh, not good practice because then it also adds to the further like, people thinking, oh, what else are these delivery people doing when um, I'm not? Uh, I'm not aware of, you know, it hurts the reputation too. Then there's a lot of people from Amazon that are just getting laid off and it's probably for this type of thing for what a lot of Amazon workers are pulling out there. So moving on Tommy, we also have another story. A guy in Bangkok, of all things, was uh, waiting for the subway and this other guy walks up and just hawks a loogie at this guy and then the guy also falls over in the train and passes away, but he also had the coronavirus. Since he had the coronavirus, um, he's had it for quite some time and he was in his mid fifties. Uh, that's crazy. I know, especially just in any normal circumstances, some people will be having a bad mood or something and then someone might either look at them funny or say something, but in any circumstances, that's just no reason to be rude to other people. Right? Exactly. So it's just kind of like, you know, you shouldn't be that rude, but I, I don't think the guy was in, and there's no excuse for it, but there is, a, th this guy was not in his right frame of mind, obviously, if he's going up to Hakalugi. Like I said, just because you're having a bad day, or if you're, or if the other person having a bad day or whatever, don't start a confrontation because you never know how it's going to wind up because stuff like this is not just happening around the world, but it's also happening here in the U.S. where people are being rude and disrespectful to uh, Asian Americans that may have absolutely nothing to do with what's going on, but they're being targeted because of their, of their origins from where they are in the world. Exactly. I, I totally agree with you. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still there. Um, Tommy, uh, moving on, what other story do you have? Okay, uh, Disney just released um, an announcement that they're closing uh, the parks here in the United States uh, until further notice, and they won't. They don't know when they're going to be reopening them as of right now. Uh, and when they do open them, okay. Well, basically, when they do reopen, uh, for the time being, um, until. We all know everything is, you know, quote, unquote, to where no one's going to be catching the coronavirus or spreading it around. Um, as of right now, they're going to only have only a thousand people in uh, Disneyland at a time for two hours and uh, California Adventure for only one hour. And they won't have any food being cooked. As of for right now, you have to bring your own food. If you get planned to be there for two hours, you got to plan that in. Uh, and remember that some rides only have like one car or th less uh, vehicles on them to you know, keep people uh, uh, distant until they know that this is going to spread anymore. Then they might gradually uh, ramp up the more people, more people in longer times, longer times. Either eat before you go to the park or plan on eating at the park and bringing your own food. The only problem I see with this is that um, it could kind of ruin the experience for other people. If you only got two hours, you know, you might smell that food or you see that smoke and you're like, uh, what's going on here, you know? So, I mean, I get where they're at, but also at the same time, I don't see how it can be very sanitary, you know, have people cooking themselves. That's just where I'm at. Right, I agree with you, Tommy. And also what they're, what they're doing with VIPs, people that have also season passes as well, um, basically uh, they, uh, that Disney wants to still say, hey, even though you have season passes, even though you can't get into the park right now, well, we're still going to charge you and you cannot get your money back. There's no way of getting your money back or getting anything back from your season passes. So we're still going to charge you no matter what. Even though the coronavirus is going on, we don't care. We're still going to make some money off of you. So I get it. You know, they still got to 
be able to uh, make sure that the rides are maintained and stuff. Uh, and because if they go uh, inoperable for a long period of time, they may not fully operate when they reopen the parks. I get that. But also at the same time, they should, you know, give a little bit of a, uh, a leniency for people who have uh, pa uh, these passes and stuff. And these people are people that live in the in the Anaheim area anyways, because someone like you or me are not going to have an annual pass because it's not going to do us any good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so, yeah, mm -hmm. I get it. They still got to be able to have the money to maintain the park to make sure when uh, they do reopen this, uh, you know, the slow um, operations for now that they have to make sure that they ha uh, are able to make sure everything's still running smoothly. I get that, mm -hmm. but they're still, uh, some of these pass holders still have to, they still have to p buy stuff. They still have to get stuff. Uh, also a lot of them are going to not have a job right now either. So right, I do get right. that. Right. Because a lot of people are out of work. People are freaking out about money. People are, you know, you know, have been let off from their jobs. So uh, it doesn't make sense what Disney is doing because, I mean, they should want to refund that money. But as a business, they're not. I don't think Disney wants to be out of business as well, even though they are shut down because of the coronavirus. Ticket holders are pretty upset over this. Hopefully, hopefully Disney does change their mind and give their money back. Who knows? Maybe they will. If somebody is big enough to write a letter out there or do something about it, you never know. And uh, just one more thing um, that, you know, those uh, wristbands for the fast pass, that will be your ticket into the park and it will flash when your time is up as well. Uh, so be aware of your time. Right. So be aware of your time, like Tommy said, and uh, because it goes pretty fast in Disney. If you've never been there, You'll spend a couple of days there, honestly. Um, if if it's your first time to the park, it's more than just, you know, a couple of hours going here and there, right, Tommy? We've been mm -hmm. to Disney, so yeah, pretty much, you know. So other than that, um, that's the news that we have. Um, don't forget to uh, like this video, ring that bell so you're notified when we put up videos again, and subscribe to our channels, and uh, keep on being safe out there. All right, and that's uh, it, and we'll see you guys later. Bye for now. Bye-bye.